Let me tell you something right now. A high quality man does not chase women. And in this video, I'm giving you four deep, dark and dirty, okay, not dirty, but truths all the same, that a man who values personal growth and relationships and a good date in life needs to hear. We've got the red light in the background because we're talking about relationships today, so I thought the red light was the good one. And if this video helps you, then I want you to click that big thumbs up icon. Do me a bit of a favor, will ya? Because this really does help me grow my channel, mate. I appreciate it. Truth number one, you are playing out old emotional wounds. If you're stuck in cycles and patterns of chasing women who clearly are not interested in you, then it's likely an old subconscious emotional program is being triggered that you're living out. And if we were to put words to these programs, it might be something like, I don't deserve a person who is as enthusiastic about me as I am about them. I have to win her approval by doing the right things. I can't possibly just relax in the company of a woman because no woman will really like that. Another common one is, this is the best I'm gonna get, so I've gotta hang on to it and not let it go. I can't tell you what your own personal subconscious programs are, that's up to you to figure out, and shadow work, if you've heard of that before, shadow work is how you uncover these programs so that you can let them go. Shadow work in this corner, in this corner, I've got a video up here about it, I'll stick it up there. Truth two, you're stuck here in this cycle because, deep down, a part of you enjoys it. I read a book a year ago that blew my noggin. It's a book called Existential Kink by Carolyn Elliott. Basic premise of the book is that when we are stuck in cycles and patterns across our lives in whatever domain, there's a part of us that enjoys it, that gets a kick out of it, that's meeting some sort of unconscious agenda we're not aware of. And that also applies in situations that we deem to be negative or painful. For example, in your situation, maybe you are afraid of intimacy, so pursuing uninterested women is a way of protecting yourself against that intimacy. Maybe a part of you sees pursuing disinterested women as a game that you can win. If she's disinterested, you, your love, your affection, you will be the one to win her over and that will make you feel better about yourself. Or maybe chasing disinterested women and the drama that comes along with it is just a bit of good old fashioned escapism so you can avoid some other grand pursuit in your life like pursuing your purpose, building a business, wh whatever it is, maybe you're just avoiding that. Becoming aware of and understanding your unconscious payoff, what kick you really get out of it, is essential for eventually being able to let that go. Truth number three, chasing her ruins her respect for you, ruins her respect for you. If you're still beguiled by that old Hollywood rom-com paradigm where a grand gesture will eventually win over the heart of the woman th that you want, let me tell you a few things. A woman cannot be attracted to a man she does not respect. If you don't have respect, you got nothing. And when you're chasing a woman consistently, what you're doing is unconsciously, you're subcommunicating a bunch of behaviors that she will find very, very hard to respect. Firstly, you're communicating that you lack social skills, you lack social awareness. You're not reading the cues, the social cues that she's giving you. It shows that you're, you're poorly socialized. It also demonstrates your obvious lack of options. It's, she thinks like, if this guy's pursuing me so intensely, then I, I'm guess, I guess he doesn't have many other options, many other women in his life. Other women aren't choosing him. Ooh, and I wonder why that is. And aside from the other options, romantically, that it's demonstrating you don't have, it's also demonstrating that you don't have really a fulfilling life because if you're putting all your eggs in this basket, a woman you maybe have only just met, then it's suggesting to her that you're not really living a lifestyle that you enjoy. And by extension, you're not really living a lifestyle that gives, would give value to her either. So paying for really expensive dinners, these grand gestures, these really well thought out multi-step things to try and win a woman's affection. That stuff, you might see it in a movie, but in real life, it will likely just land you a restraining order. And truth number four, if you keep chasing women, the only women you're gonna attract are emotionally unhealthy ones. Because these kind of women are women who are as insecure as you, and they crave and feed off of the validation of men for their self-worth. But that validation is the exact kind of validation you're giving her when you're chasing her. And that might also be one of the reasons why she's keeping you at arm's length. Maybe she's keeping you on ice so that you ramp up your efforts 
and that feeds her validation. But that's, that's for another video. If you want a high quality woman, emotionally secure woman in your life, high quality partner, you need to become a high quality, emotionally secure man. And the truth is a high quality, emotionally secure man knows when to pursue from a powerful place and when to walk away. A man who knows, values and loves himself knows when he's in a situation when his presence is not valued and desired. And he doesn't stick around and try to win the approval of everybody else. What he does is excuse himself from the situation. And what a high quality man does is he gravitates towards situations and relationships where he is desired, where his presence is valued. So I'm gonna tell you something that I read in a book a long time ago. Walk through open doors. Do not bang on closed doors, hoping that they open one day. This is not just important for building healthy relationships with women, but it's also the most important thing for the most important relationship in your life, your relationship to yourself. If you like this video, mate, then click this video next, because in this video, I give you some deeper inner work processes you can go through on your own that's gonna help you overcome your approval and validation hungry part of you so you can be more authentically confident and more sort of self-approving as opposed to needing her approval and validation, okay? So click that video next. I appreciate you, mate. As always, this is Oliver signing off until next week. Peace.